Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of a look at some of these books I've got here on my desk. This one is The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. It's an absolutely beautiful book. Just look at that. You could open it on any page and find gorgeous images. And those of you who make junk journals we love to take these apart and include them in our junk journals. You can use them in any other crafts, art prints for the wall. I've seen people make bunting out of them. Anything you want. So I know some of you can't bear to cut them up, but they are old books. They were mass produced and yeah, I like to cut mine up. I do apologise if that upsets anyone. So let's crack on. I'll just move these all out of the way and I'll be back and I'll show them you one at a time. So, here they are. This is the original book, as I said, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden. And what it is, is it is her... It's a diary. An illustrated diary. She's a wonderful watercolour artist. Uh, I have read the book about her, but I don't return information, as you may know if you watch me often. Look at that. They, those are the most prized pages, I think, in these books. Each month has its own cover page. So let's start from the beginning. This is the only one I'm going to show you a full page by page flip through of. In fact, let's move. I'm going to move even more out of the way. I've got so many books on my desk, it's untrue. So it's available in soft cover that size, hard cover that size. The book looks bigger, but the pages are exactly the same size. Yeah, you see. And they did this smaller version, which is much harder to get hold of and tends to go for a lot more money. I have been collecting these for years. And I've managed to get one of each hard and soft cover. So, I'll do the flip through on this hard cover. So we've got the title page, that. I love that paper for making tickets and things. It says it's a facsimile reproduction of a naturalist's diary. A naturalist, not a naturist. Very different things. Don't get mixed up. For the year 1906, Edith Holden recorded in words and paintings the flora and fauna of the British countryside through the changing seasons of the year. And yeah, so that's what it is. So this one says it's Nature Notes for 1906. That'll give you a little bit of a clue as to how the second book came about, which is the Nature Notes of an Edwardian Lady. It was just more of a illustrations than fit into this first book. So here we have this. January. Look how gorgeous it is. She was a very talented artist. I, I've, I can't bear to cut some pages up. I did once do something with those, uh, I called them dead leaves. Well, they are dead leaves. It says the dead leaves, but even then they're beautiful, aren't they? So we'll go through January. Here we go. I mean, I like to make, just fold a page up and make an envelope out of it. Yeah. Some of the illustrations I like to highlight. These pages are the ones I tend to just fold into envelopes. Yeah, gets more colourful as it goes through. Look at that, March. The old Shire horses. There we go, We've got the birds and egg. I'm not going to describe everything. It's just a flip through. <clears throat> I will not be flipping through all 15 books. You're not going to need sandwiches and a sleeping bag for this video. Look, I do love that page. That one's absolutely gorgeous. You'll find in the centre of each signature, well, most of them, there is like a double page image. I want to one day make a huge junk journal so I can use these pages without even cutting into them. That would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Look at that, violets. Love that one. And I will be used, well not these actual ones, I do save one copy of each book and I'm never going to cut them up. But I'll be using many pages from other copies in the junk journals I'm currently making. Look at that, again the centre of a signature. They're beautiful to use as the centre signature in your journals. Sometimes I will cut, as you can see, you can cut a little bit off and still fit it in. Especially you lucky ladies in the US because your paper in your journal is eight and a half inches that way. Ours is eight and a quarter. I'll just tell you how much this book measures. It's just just a smidgen over nine inches. Yeah? 
and that page that white width is oh it's like six and three quarters so you could put it in a journal you could just turn each page slightly over as a flip out and get that whole image in yeah no one ever uses that page and neither do I <laughs> It's, no, we don't want snakes. Oh, look at those. Gorgeous. May. Well, it's, like it's a chaffinch's nest and eggs. And hawthorn blossom with wild hyacinths. I ought to read this book more often because I'm terrible at remembering the names of plants and flowers. Crabapple. Mm -hmm. Love that one. Red campion and wild hyacinth. Wild beaked parsley. Ooh, what are they? Wild arum. Oh, it is. So they are lilies. I thought that looks a bit like a lily. I must be learning something in my old age. And that's common garlic. Who knew garlic had such lovely flowers? Perhaps people who grow garlic. Yeah, I personally don't grow garlic. I I, I specialise in weeds on mass. There we go. Is that a cabbage white? Mm, no, no. I've no idea. I don't know which of these descriptions. Large garden white. Yeah, that. I don't. Is it a Yorkshire thing or is that the same as a cabbage white? Maybe we call them that because they used to hang around cabbages in allotment. I don't know. June. Willow warbler. I'm a warbler. I can warble all day. Some names of plants are not very nice, are they? What's that butterfly? Do, do, do. I don't know which one's the butterfly. Do, do, do. I have no idea. No idea. Oh, it's an orange tip butterfly. There you go. Who would have thought of that with orange tips on it? Shocker that one, isn't it? And do more. And we're nearly halfway through. Oh, look at that one. Really love that one. I think I've used that on cover a junk journal before. There is a range of fabrics as well that came out based on a lot of these flowers. I don't think anyone's reproducing fabrics new at the moment, but you can get them second hand. People ask me where to get them from eBay, eBay, eBay. I'm not one of these people who drops on them in charity shops. I can't stand rummaging in charity shops. If it's below. <laughs> it's below waist high I'm not interested I do take kids rummage sometimes and get them rummaging here, here you go kids ferret through that for me oh look at that box glove and if you don't like the talk as I flip through this book just mute me mute me or switch off oh, July look at the dragonfly dragonflies are amazing aren't they when you see them in real life that's a small tortoise shell butterfly I found that one a bit quicker but look at this, look at the font. The handwriting's lovely. It's not cursive, it's not overly posh as we would say. But it's lovely and it's neat. Oh, look at that. Red Admiral butterflies, yummy. And the bees, not too keen on bees, but we'll allow them in book. Giant Campunula, ooh. Yeah, just ignore my pronunciation. For some reason as well, the kingfisher tends to get ignored. I think it's because there's such a plain background. I might stick him on some at blue and pretend he's in the sky. That'd be a good one. I love those. I have those in my garden. Neighbours aren't too impressed, but I love them. The giant, the huge. Yeah, we've gone wild. If anyone asks, we've done it on purpose. Hmm. <laughs> It just happened all on its own. Right, look at that. Poppies. Again, that's the centre of a signature, so you've got a double spread. That's absolutely gorgeous. What's this? Is that muck in the middle or just... No, it's just, it's printed on the book. As you can see, these books, it's printed as though it is aged. Well, I suppose the, the original pages that Edith made were aged. But I will say this, some copies uh, are lighter than others. Take a look at this one. I will grab one more. Let's see. Oh, that's Nature Notes. So that's not going to be the same, is it? It's a different book, woman. It's a different book. Put your act together. Oh, Craft Lunch. That one. Oh, that one's... Yeah, that's definitely darker, isn't it? Yeah, so it's potluck. You get what you get. I just think 
whenever they reprint a book the colours can be slightly different can't they? Yeah. Golden Red. I'm not going to read none of these Latin names. I'm not au fait with Latin. Do you know as I open some of these pages it's as though it's the first time the pages in this copy have ever been opened. And it could be. Ooh, September cover page. Love it. That's not your best work, that one, Edith, but I like it. But no, it's not your best work, that love. That one. Look at that. More dead leaves. But look at the chestnuts. The fruit of the Spanish chestnut and horse chestnut. Horse chestnuts, what we used to call conkers. Yeah, watch your knuckles and conker season. I don't know if you ladies over in the US, if you did that, we used to thread conkers on bits of string and like, I don't know, try and bash each other's knuckle. We try and bash the conkers. I think the first person, if you smash the conker, they're out. So the biggest, hardest conker's going to win. But you got your knuckles smashed more often than your conkers. Gorgeous. Fruit of the dog rose and blackberry. I have those in my garden, blackberries. Wild ones. They run very wild. What's that? Yellow hammers. I think my cup of tea is arriving. Thank you, darling. Cheers. Yeah, I knew I won't get through this video without a cup of tea, so I ordered one from Teenage Technical Department. Berries of the bittersweet woody nightshade. Ooh, I don't know if they would be poisonous. Yeah, you well, we've all heard a deadly nightshade, haven't we? Right. I will. <laughs> I need to talk less, show more, don't I? You, you do say you like me waffling. You can also speed me up. Mute me, speed me up. God, I wish I could do that to my kids sometimes. Mute them and speed them up. That would be absolutely fabulous. I just heard one chuckling background. Go on, get muted and sped up. Oh, that one, that is absolutely gorgeous. I am, and I keep saying it, and I haven't done it yet. I want to frame that one. Yeah, I need to get some frames the right size and just frame it. It's not hard, is it? But I've been going to do it now for about five years. So Mum would say, I'm a good gunner. Look at that starling. You see what starlings about? They look like boring little birds, but when you see them with sun shining and I'm a look close, they're absolutely beautiful. Those mush I'm not so thrilled with that page of mushrooms, but brilliant for fussy cutting. Poor green woodpecker tends to get overlooked by us junk journalers. Bramble leaves. Yeah, and as you can see, well, we've got towards end of year again, so the colour's gone out of it. A bit like... Well, that's, I'm saying it's a bit like it is. This is a nature diary. Edith painted what she saw. And we've got a little pop of colour here in December with the little blue tits. Absolutely gorgeous. Blackbird, an ordinary sparrow, or spuggy. I don't know if that's local to me, that, or to UK. We call sparrows spuggies. No idea why. If you know, let me know. Yeah. Pop it in comments. I am still reading all your comments, even though I now don't have time to reply. And holly. I can see some of those over at the fence at the bottom of my garden in winter. And we've got this one, a wren and a hedge sparrow. Oh, a hedge spuggy. And there we go. That is a gorgeous little picture as well. Little DIY bird feeder. Feeding out birds in winter. We've got the robin. And there we go. But look, even even the index at the back is gorgeous. Yeah, it makes really good pages in your junk journals. So that is the country diary of an Edwardian lady. Now, some more bits those junk journals would like to know. That is what the basic cover looks like. You can get ones that are fancier than this, but I've never come across one. I could not tell you what edition it is, what year. Let's have a look. The original book was published in June 1977, and this tells you second, third, fourth impression. So I'm guessing this is the fourth impression. In October 1977, it was such a yeah, it was selling like hot cakes. If they had to keep reprinting it, yeah, every couple of months. So, yeah, I have no qualms about cutting books up because 
Yeah, I'd rather cut one up than have it just get pulped or sent to a wood chipper. Which is, believe me, what happens. So we'll put that out of the way. Again, this is exactly the same. But in, I mean, look how much paler that one is. Yeah? Same book, but in a soft cover. Let's have a look at the publishing year on that. Again, I'm not going to tell you all. Oh, again, it will publish same year. No, actually, right, this... This soft cover one first published in 1992. So even though the hard cover was 1977, we had to wait another 15 years for this soft cover. So that's probably why it's in better nick. It looks a bit paler as well. I think I like this. If I were doing a vintage project, the other one would be perfect. I'd use this one if I were not going to be doing much inking. So, mm, interesting that, I've learnt something new. And then came the second book, which is The Nature Notes of an Edwardian Lady. Now this one, I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah? I don't know, oh look at the, it's got a little hole in that, look at the end papers. This one is in really good nick, this is why I've saved this as my copy. Uh, 1989 this one were first published yeah so they really were getting the money's worth out of these books weren't they <laughs> they were so i'm gonna have a slightly quicker flip through of this one so i'm guessing these are the bits that didn't make it into the first book look at that beautiful january seems to be more poems and a lot more stuff not in edith's own hand yeah so like i say a much quicker flip through but again, there is one of these title pages for every month. I don't know whether... I don't know whether Edith herself did this as her first... Pe well, she obviously didn't do two first pages in one diary, did she? Maybe I ought to read book and see. I'm, a bit, I'm just looking at pictures, mate. Look at that, gorgeous. It's all gorgeous, what can I say? But even just as paper, it's really good quality. Love the colour. Yeah. Very quick flip through this one. Wow, gorgeous rabbit. I've only ever taken one Nature Notes book apart. It was a few years before I got one. You can always pay silly money for them on eBay, but I don't want to pay silly money. I think the first Country Diary one I bought, in fact, I, I know, because I remember, it was £2.80, free postage. We have a lot of big booksellers here in the UK, and they get preferential deals with um, couriers. So they can send heavy books for less than the price. They can sell the book and send it for less than the price that we would pay just to post it. But that's where you lucky people in the USA might find a bargain go onto eBay UK some of these big sellers offer international shipping and again they get preferential rates but these books are the perfect size to send as what we call a large letter and which is a cheaper rate than a parcel and it's basically for sending books and printed papers and my friend Cheryl in Oklahoma she buys from eBay in the UK because the UK price on a UK book in the UK plus the shipping to the USA is quite often, or any other country, I know I talk a lot about USA, but I do bear in mind that over 60% of you lovely people watching are in the USA. So yet the postage plus the price of the book is often less than you can buy the book for in US. Oh, I know some of you do come across them in thrift stores. That is absolutely gorgeous. Stunning, that. Yeah, but uh, don't overlook that as an option. Ooh, look at it. As you can see, I'm going through much quicker. And the other books, I'm not going to do cover to cover. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's just these first couple. Look, more thistles. Whee! We've got a wee in. I never thought I'd do that. Looking at books, I'm not crafting. Or inking. Gorgeous. Yeah, because if you've been watching me, I am making six Edith Holden... Well, they're not totally Edith Holden themes. 
themed. In fact, when I started them, they were just junk journals. And then they've morphed into Edith Holden themed ones. I'll give you a quick... Uh, I put a photo up yesterday. I'll give you a quick look, closer look at each one at the end. And that's why I've not been doing a, an awful lot of videos. I've not really been doing things that I can do a video on. That I've not done before or done recently. And I'm bitting and batting. I'm not organised enough to actually make journals and film the process. I don't do voiceovers. I'm not big on edit editing. I switch camera on, I waffle and then I switch it off when I think you might have had enough. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous images in this one. But not much of Edith's own fault. There you go, some of Edith's own hand. I don't mean she wrote this actual, yeah, you know that, don't you? Oh, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. I did make a folio a few years back with that as my front cover, and that went off to the US of A. Right. Look at that cheeky little fox, owl, some more Edith poems. Gorgeous. And I do love that end paper. I, do you know, I've had some of this in my stash and I wonder where it'd come from. That's where it came from, you silly woman. It's the Edith Olden end paper from the Nature Notes. So that's that. And again, they did a soft cover one. I'll tell you when that came out. That came out in 1989. Mm. Something else that some of the big booksellers do here at UK, you don't get a picture of the books, but it often will tell you the year it was published. So you could perhaps work out which it was from that. Right, so those are the main two books. Now let's bring in all this other stuff. Right, that's the smaller version. I know that one was produced by Marks and Spencers. It was, was it, what, it, 100 years? The Country Diary. I think it was 100 years of Edith, not 100 years since the Country Diary book came out. Again, I've never read it. Look at it, it's perfect. Now this is technically not vintage yet because it were produced in 2006. Yeah, for Marks and Spencer. But they go for silly, silly money these sometimes. Now I once received this from one of the big booksellers for very cheap money because they obviously didn't know this one goes for more money. I thought I bought the big one, I got that. I don't know what I paid for this one. I may have paid more, but again, it's the same. Perfect size for junk journals I'm making, but I only have one copy of that. So I'm not taking them apart yet. <laughs> I think I get people in comments saying they don't want to take books apart quite often, and I say, yeah, I'm like that. I need a spare copy before I'll take it apart. And it is true. If I've only got one, I'm not taking it apart. Right, now here's another popular book, and I think I had a lady email me uh, wanting to know which book I use because she didn't think the book she got was the same. Now I think this is where a lot of confusion lies. There is this book as well called The Edwardian Lady, The Story of Edith Holden. It's not by Edith Holden. It's just a book about Edith Holden. But look at the cover. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one's a bit stained. But I don't mind for my copy. If I get a nicer one, I'll swap it out. Now, I have used this before to make junk journals. Yeah, you don't get a very chunky junk journal, but you do. So look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. And look at that, £1. So at some point someone sold that for £1. I don't know when this came out. It came out in 1980. Yeah, so the year after the other books. And what this is, I'm, again, I'm just going to show you a little bit. It's about Edith. There's Edith's family tree. Yeah, a family where she lived. This one is a lovely read. But I've, I've only read bits and bats. That's a picture of Evelyn. Ooh, who's Evelyn? Ooh. I don't know, I need to read more about this. No, I'm not going to read now. I'm supposed to be showing it you. Yeah. yeah. Lots lots of things about the area where she lived. And also, she did... Ah, 
she did other work. Yeah, she illustrated some children's books and she also did some adverts. That's one book. I do have a copy of that, but I can't find it. Is it is it called? I don't know. I forgot what it's called. Can't find it. Just said that. There you go. Christmas original Christmas cards that she's done. Yeah. Again, it's lovely paper. You want to take it apart and use it. There are lots of nice images, but it's it's not the country diary of an Edwardian lady. And I think that's where a lot of confusion lies. But it is a lovely cover. I buy this one more for the cover. I buy the other one more for the pages. I'll, I'll put its dust jacket back on. Yeah, I've not even cleaned front to that one. I tend to give him a wipe when I get them. Must have missed that one. Right, what am I going to go on to next? Right, I'm going to these. What did I say? Spin-offs. Yeah, it's like it's like a Marvel. Yeah, she's like <laughs> the Marvel of the, <laughs> the nature world, isn't she? It's like, oh, that were a good film. Let's make another and another and another. Yeah, just goes on forever. And yeah. But I'm not complaining because they're all absolutely gorgeous. So there's this one about creating a wildflower garden. I'll just give you a quick look. Again, it's not. There's lots of images. They tend to be paler in this lots of information on basically how to create a wildflower garden but the images and illustrations in it are Edith's yeah Edith's watercolour images and is this the one where you do I'm just going to do a bit of flicking because I can't remember look Ooh, a lot of these so if you just want a book to make some fussy cuts and some tags and to then Put in your journals, this is a good one. I'm flicking, I'm flicking, I'm flicking. No. I mean, some of the books reproduce those original cover pages. Month pages, I call them. I don't, they're not cover pages. You know, there's one for every month. So that's creating a wildflower garden. Then we've got creating a butterfly garden. So they must thought, oh, that did well. Let's do another one. I mean, any wildflower garden is going to attract butterflies, isn't it? Or flutterbys as we call them again. Lots and lots of images. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of things you can fussy cut. Some of these pictures I'm not so keen on. Yeah. Loads. So there's lots of actual photographs in this one. I don't know why I'm not so keen on photographs in my journals. I do prefer the watercolour illustrations. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're slightly smaller, some of these images. So if you do want to fussy cut them and incorporate them in your journals, it can be a little bit easier. And these tend to go for a couple of pounds in UK. Yeah, I keep an eye on them all, me. And when they drop down to two quid, I'm like, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I've stopped myself now, though, because I've got enough. Right, we've got. I'll do the herbal before we're going to create. Yeah, they even they even trotted old Edith out at Christmas. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Ooh, awesomebooks.com, ten percent off books from look books from one eighty eight free UK delivery. What were I saying about these big booksellers having preferential rates? The my coupon expired in twenty nineteen though. That's a bit. Yeah, that's a bit sad, isn't it? <laughs> There you go. I could. Yeah, let's fold it in half. Yeah, and let's ink it up and let's decorate it as a journal card. Right, let's show up. Go on with this one now. So, this one is the Country Diary Herbal. Yeah, so let's grow some herbs. And it's full of herbal remedies, and there's, there's diagrams and how to. Lanag Herb Garden. Oh, look at that. And there's some. That's really nice. And again, plenty of opportunity to fussy cut stuff. Oh, I've got a blurry page. I thought my eyes had died. Then I'm like, what's up with your eyes? It's not your eyes, woman. That is a blur. It's like double printed that page. Whoa. It's like when you lose your glasses and you think someone's to turn light off. I'm good at that. Who looks for the glasses when they're on their head? Put your hands up. Yeah. Everyone puts their hand up. I do it all the time. Look at that. Lots of colour on that page. 
so yeah that's another good one the country diary herbal i think what i'll do is i will put a list of all these books together so you can print it off so put that one away i've lost count how many books i've gone through here then here we go they trotted edith out at christmas so we've got christmas edith here let's have a look at the cover on that book oh that's quite nice no special but quite nice love those end papers i'm not even sure if some of these are vintage yet what do we say vintage is 20 years antique is 100 that's not my opinion that is a fact <laughs> just to get all uppity 1992 so yeah this is vintage forget that it's vintage i hope i live to be antique i know i'm vintage it would be nice to live to be antique but i doubt it Ooh, cross oh i didn't know this had cross stitch patterns in oh nice I need to spend more time reading these and less time collecting them so yeah lots of christmas crafts again christmas postcards that edith has sent and then just lots of random information about christmas there's not as much stuff to cut out i mean yeah robin man's and boys sweaters i don't know where they get that they're edith i think because they put one of her robins on it Maybe Edith wore a red jumper once. Oh look, a knitted hedgehog. Hedgehog Feast, that was another book Edith Holden did. I don't have one to hand. I do own one somewhere. Now it looks like some of these pages are stuck together. Oh, that's that one. The Country Diary Christmas Book. Right, I've got another batch of books here. <laughs> Oh, I think now I've got everything on my desk. I've lost a pack of postcards. Is that what the craft lunch was? Yes, it was. Two ticks, let me pick them up. Oh, here we go. So then there were these books, and these are like the diaries, basically. There is cookery notes, garden notes, and nature notes. Now, my favourite out of them all to get use in junk journals is the cookery notes so I'll show you that first and tell you why and I've got two copies of this cookery notes here one has got that faux it's a faux fabric cover I love how we say faux instead of fake and then that one it's the shiny plasticky cover not so much a fan of those oh we don't want to see does <laughs> the lady who owned it before has put a sticker in with a name and address? Ooh, yeah. But you can, if, if you ever want to use those, just rough them up with a bit of sandpaper or put some gesso on. Yeah, you can still use them. So I'm going to go through, I'll go through this one. It looks more used, soft as fine. I'll take that off because I know it gets a bit shiny on camera. Right, let's have a shuffle at this one. Again, love those end papers. Yeah, I love just using those as pages. You can print on them, stamp on them, do what you want with them. So there we've got the Country Diary Cookery Notes. I don't know when this one came out. Um, first push, first pushing, what's a pushing? I've no idea. First impression, 1984. Yeah, we'll do a, we know a book about that, don't we? I think I'm, I'm going to swap because I've pinched some pages out of that one. Silly woman, you're showing half a book. Yeah, look. Yeah, I like to take my books apart. Signature by signature. Put that back in. Alright, get this one out. There we go. We don't need to see that lady's address. There we go. Oh, this paper is shinier as well. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that. Right, let's bring this back in. Can you see? That was the first book. It's the matte, nice thick paper. This is not shiny. It's, I think it's just smoother, thinner paper. It's not even really much of a sheen. It's a, a slight sheen. If it were paint and I'd paint my skirting boards, I'd call that matte and that silk. Yeah? The cover is what I'd call gloss. There you go. <laughs> I have no idea if paper has proper names or not. Right, so what this is it's yeah it's it's like a cookery book this one 
So there are lots of uh, vegetables in it, I just read that. Lots of recipes in it, but then there's room for you to put your own recipes in as well. And it's all in sections, we've got soups. Yeah, and I like this one because of the fact that you can put that page in a junk journal, it can be written on, yeah? Let's have a flick through. Also, can you see each section has got different illustrations by Edith? in the corners and illustrations on what she drinks and preserves section, afternoon tea. So there's still a lot of opportunity to get a lot of use out of these books and these then when they come down to about two pound, two pound fifty, that's when I get them. And I compare that to a pad of craft paper and it's a bargain. Mm. I mean it, it would be nice some people said you know, it's not proper junk journal if you're not using junk, but what do they say? One man's junk is another man's treasure. I don't have I don't have nice junk in my house to make nature journals, so I've bought it in. And it's much better than buying it brand new. That one is gorgeous. Uh, this one, in fact you'll see it in one of my books. You can fussy cut around it like so and you can make a pocket, side pocket, bottom, top. It took whatever, absolutely lovely. But you can cut it so that you don't see that. What's the next section? Yeah, the roses. So yeah, I think you get the idea with that one. Look at that, beautiful. Meat poultry and game. But again, you can just fussy cut around part of it and use it as a pocket. That's what I do. So I like that one for taking apart and using as pages because the amount of space you've got to journal. Then there's the garden notes and nature notes. These are the two that are done as a diary. That one's a recipe book. Right, let's have a look. Ooh, that's a bit green that. I don't know who decided on that. But I think, yeah, I hope we got sacked. Beautiful page, gaudy green. So, yeah. Lots of information about... The ingredients, ah, this is the one. Look at that, it has those pages in that you get in the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. And then can you see it's done as, it's a diary. Oh, what happened? I did I do that? I don't know, maybe I did that or maybe someone did that before me, I don't recall. I thought I'd save myself an intact copy of each one, but there's bits missing. So yeah, quick flick, different images in the corners. Yeah, you've got every one of those pages for each month. So that, if you just want these, I mean, I've seen people selling a set of these pages on eBay for silly, oh, silly money. I think they're one today for seven pounds. So, mm, or you can get that book for perhaps two or three. Hmm. So that one is the nature notes. That's for you to make your own nature notes like Edith did. Right, then we've got garden notes. I think this is like a gardener's diary. This again is that smooth, smoother paper. Doesn't seem shiny at all, this one though. And again, this one came out in 1984. And again, lots of Edith images. That one's got the cover pages in again. So the garden notes. I'll show them you together if you want to take any details down. The garden notes and nature notes. That's a good way to just get those yummy. I'm just going to stick to calling them cover pages even though they're not. Because you get one at the beginning of each month. Look at that. That gives you lots and lots of little birdies to fussy cut to put in corner of your pages. Oh, look at that. So whoever's had this book actually used it. I wonder... How old that clipping is, I've no idea. So yeah, I'm not going to flick through that anymore because it's very similar to the other two. Right, now these are the last ones, I promise you. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. Now this is one that I think I did have another copy, but then I did send that to my friend Cheryl. And this is the Country Diary Book of Crafts. Is this on camera because it's bigger? Yeah, you can just see. And I intend doing some of these because I do love cross stitch. I've not done any for a few years and this one has quite a few patterns in but look you can tell how old it is. 1985 this were published but if 80s are having a revival again I think they've had two in my lifetime already. Look at that shawl jumper. I can't knit basically but if I could I could make these. 
<laughs> I do stay obvious sometimes, don't I? Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Yeah. Making a rag doll. How to do smocking. So you do learn something. I've no idea what this had to do with Edith, really. Again, it's just, let's try Edith out. <laughs> let's make another few quid. Now that's got the cover pages, as I call them. We're now These are now called cover pages. Month pages. <laughs> and, yeah. Ooh, very shiny, that. Very shiny. I don't know why I don't like shiny pages so much. Lots of cross-stitch patterns. I love a bit of cross-stitch. Oh, they're big, aren't they? Oh yeah. Look at her. I used to have hair like that. I did actually. I used to sit in hairdressers for hours having these spirally perms. Oh, crazy woman. I can't even tell you how long it took to dry it. I'm just chop and go now. Yeah, so, ooh. There's all sorts in here. Oh, look at that spirit. I don't, know, I don't know if I like that. Wow. Are they really going to show us how to make that? Is that crochet? Yeah, it is. You've got the pattern to make that. So if anyone is into crochet and knitting, this would be a really good book. And this one does, again, it pops up really cheap. Or if you just want to fussy cut 50,000 butterflies, there's one on corner of every page. So, yeah. Ooh. Yummy. Yeah, I'm not going to show you all the way through, but it's it is a good book if you can knit, if you yeah can knit or crochet. I could have done a video on every one of these books for a long, slow flip through. Right, and then there's this one. Right, I'm going to show you that as well because the Country Diary Birthday Book. This is a lovely book because again, this is like a diary. It's got those cover pages in and the whole way through, can you see these? I've done it, I've taken another one of these apart before. Yeah, there's a little quote from Edith on a lot of the pages. Lots of things to fussy cut. Just take this apart and put it in a junk journal without doing anything to it. And yeah, it goes on, 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 on throughout the whole year. But be careful when you buy this online without a picture, yeah? Because you might get this. <laughs> this is the cutest little thing. I've never seen another one. I ordered what I thought were going to be one of those ones and I got this. This is called the Country Diary Miniature, my birthday book. Yeah? It doesn't have all the quotes on the pages. It does have some cute little illustrations. But how cute is that? But, yeah. If you're wanting that and you get this, hmm, but I still love it, it's gorgeous. Don't know what year that came out. Does it tell us? 1989. The birthday book came out in 1987, so they didn't half rinse our Edith in 80s, didn't they? Then there's these. Now, there may be other books. If there are other books, I don't know about them. I've never come across them, but I'm not saying there aren't any. I just haven't come across them yet. So if you do know of any others, because I'm like on a mission now to collect every one, just let me know in comments. Now, these are the last two. If you saw my last video, I did start taking one of these apart because I've used these postcards on the covers of my junk journals. So I'm just going to grab those now and show you. For anyone who's interested. Whee! There we go. That's the one I made, that cover in the last video. And then I've gone on to use the postcards to make five more co covers. And this is all Edith Holden fabric, or fabric designed using her images. And we've got that one. Are we on camera here? I'm, I've not got my camera where I normally have it to fit all those books in. It's a bit weird. We've got that one. And that one. So I've got the covers finished. They've got signatures in. They're not all fully decorated yet. I'm making... I've discovered I need more ephemera. I don't have enough ephemera suitable for six Edith Elden journals. So I've been making all the... Not boring stuff. The stuff that is... 
Yeah, that don't need a tutorial basically. And then I have got a few more that I'm going to be doing tutorials on. So as you can see, the front of the junk journals are made using these postcards. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. I have discovered a better way of taking these apart. And I think someone suggested this last time I hashed up taking them apart. Because they are old. From I don't know when the postcards were published. It tells you the book was published in 1977. When were the postcards published? Da -da -da, 1991. Yeah, so it's a 20 odd year old pack of postcards. The perforations may not be behaving as they should. So I tend to get my craft knife now. I'll demonstrate with a knife that I'm not going to use. Because I don't really want to cut them. And I pull it back. I do it that way so I don't hurt my fingers. And I use the edge of the book there to cut. And I just go through under the whole stack of postcards. So there's that one. The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, and then there's another set, the Field, is it the Nature Notes? Yeah, again, just different images. The handy, you can just pull one out and use it as a journal card, or as I've done, make it the feature of your journal cover. So I think I've done now. My throat's a bit dry now, and I haven't drunk any of that tea that I got brought. Let's have a quick sip. There we go. So, yeah, we've got all those books so if you've got any more questions on books just let me know but as as for where to find them because they are all second hand thrift stores yes yeah, second hand stores i think in the uk most of our charity shops are big chains as well now and they're a bit pretty clued up they have people who work for them who filter out the stuff that they're going to get more money from on ebay or money from from other buyers and you very rarely see stuff like that at this in charity shops, where I live anyway. We do have a couple of independent ones, but again, I've never come across one of these. Maybe I'm just unlucky, or maybe I don't like to look below waist height and I won't get my hands mucky. <laughs> I don't know where it is. So anyway, it's time to stop waffling. I'll just shut up and go. So see you next time. Bye.